is this 20-year-old Beth Harmon? Check out these amazing games. This is Nergiol Salamova. She is an international master and a woman grandmaster. She recently competed in the Women's World Cup and her results were phenomenal. As an IM, this 20-year-old was not expected to do as well in the World Cup. She ended up beating grandmasters so much higher rated than her, had an amazing performance, and it really shows that she has a lot of potential, and I think you're going to love these games. This game is against Anna Muzichuk, a grandmaster, and not only that, Salomova has black hair, which is generally considered to be a pretty sizable disadvantage, but in this position, it looks like she's doing very well. The engine wants queen f6, but she ends up playing another move, which while it's not exactly what the engine likes, it's a pretty cool practical decision, and we'll see why. Queen a5. Queen moves to f4, threatening the rook on b8, check, back, and this is where it gets crazy. Bishop f5, and it looks like she just hung a rook, and also this is kind of believable because she has 14 seconds on her clock, that is not a lot of time. I mean, both players are very strapped for time, but, you know, I mean, this is just such a crazy position. So... Muzichuk takes the rook on b8, trying to call her opponent's bluff, but unfortunately this is not a bluff. King h7, no matter where you bring the queen, there's some really cool moves in the future. Bishop h6, queen has to move back. Bishop c2, and this is just hopeless for white. Mate in two, look at this, it's insane. Queen d3 mate, a beautiful game, an absolutely beautiful game, really setting the pace for the rest of this tournament. Despite Salomova's win in the previous game, Muzichuk was able to get a win, evening the score, so they had to go to a rapid playoff. Now, this game is so cool, I really love it. As we see, Salomova has white now. Rook c8, queen goes to e2. Bishop d6, trying to entice a trade. The bishop moves to h6. There's no castling in the future for black. This is a really interesting choice. Knight down is aggressive, but it doesn't actually end up working because now you have the best move, which she does, rook d1. Queen back. We really appreciate all the aggressive moves. That's what I really love about rapid games. I think you get some like really cool attacking games and some very interesting tactics like we're about to see. d5. Bishop takes. This is just not strong, but at the same time, there's not a lot black can do here. Like, this is such a tough position to play. Of course, with the engine, it's easy to be like, ah, oh, this is a bad move, but this is so tough, and it really just shows how well Salomova is playing. So, then we get rook c5. This is a pretty tough move. It's a pretty tough mistake, but also Salomova has to know how to take advantage of it. Bishop b5 check. King moves over. Bishop tries to threaten the rook, rook moves back. This is tough, this is so cool. Next we have the rook stacking the exchange on d5. D5, and the really cool move is you really just can't take here because, I mean, it, it's it's just gonna be a mess and you'll see why. Takes, bishop b6, this is insane and this is the end of the game because, let's say queen takes or actually queen moves anywhere. You just have this amazing queen sack that ends in mate. And this was such a beautiful game, securing her a spot in the finals and also a place at candidates, women's candidates. So that's something to look forward to. This is the finals and it's Salomova against Goryachkina. And she is one of my favorite players, just a really great, strong GM. Very, very interesting games. I recommend looking at her games. But this is, this is a tough position because here we see Rook takes, and white has a bit of an advantage here. White's pieces are a lot more active, black is uncastled, but it's not super easy. Great move, she's playing very well. Bishop b6 moves back, threatens queen, so the queen has to move, there's no taking that knight there. And now the knight has this beautiful outpost on c6, this is just very good. Knight moves back. This is, this is all so strong, so strong. So knight takes f5, best move, takes back. And now you have the queen moving in for the kill. White's pieces are so much more active. Past pawns on A and B. This looks amazing. And she's just playing so strong here, just taking another pawn. So now bishop takes h2, and I think we see her start to get maybe a little scared, or maybe just a bit worried. King h1. Queen tries to move in. Some really good counterattacks for black who hasn't had a lot of counterplay this game. Queen back. Um, you, you could tell by the queen trade. Like, this would be better for Salomova, but obviously Goryachkina is not going not gonna to go for it. Here, moves back. And unfortunately, Salomova makes the decision to take 
the bishop, which according to the engine, she should have moved something like um, Merc B1 protecting all of her pieces, and she would have just been absolutely dominating with these two passed pawns. That being said, it does look pretty scary. It looks like there could be a lot of difficult choices in the future if you do do that. She also was pretty low on time here, so it's a super understandable mistake, but this ends up um, allowing her opponent to clutch a draw, and unfortunately Salmova ended up losing the finals, but still an amazing run. She is so cool, definitely someone to look at, and I can't wait to watch her candidates game in 2024.